January of this year, we'd done a trip to Scotland, which was supposed to be at least a month or so long. Due to a major laptop and hard drive failure, I lost all the footage of what was going to be a three-part series. This is all the footage that survived. I have pieced it together as best as possible for you. Hope you enjoy the video. Unfortunately, we're now on our first part of the journey to leave Scotland. We're just leaving Loch Linney side campsite where we stayed on here overnight to, to get a full charge in the batteries on electric hookup because our uh, B2B or DC to DC charger isn't working. So we're going home, we're gonna fix that. We're replacing it with a new Victron unit it was the sterling one that we had that burnt out so we're now leaving going over the tiny little bridge Those of you that have got OCD, I haven't rounded it off. <laughs> right, we wasn't totally empty, but that was 118 pounds and 56 pence at one pound 49.9 per litre. That's a kick in the nuts, isn't it? I'm getting through that. Okay, I'm going this way though. So this is our park up for the night. It's uh, Egglestone Abbey. And I'll tell you what, it's bloody windy. I've got something over the microphone to try and ease the uh, sound of the wind. But look at this. What a brilliant park up. Yes, I'm ready for the cold. <laughs> it's freezing. Cold, with a little bottle of Prosecco in her hand. <laughs> So we're both just about to take a little walk around the um, ruins of the abbey before it gets too dark so we can get some footage in the light and then we're going to go around like little kids with our head torches on once it's pitch black and it's going to be pitch black very very dark very very cold just in case any of you want to pause to have a little read do you know you walk around these sort of places 
the history of them. I mean, that just don't look safe. If any of you are into your ghosts, I think this place has got a few stories. I'm looking forward to coming back here tonight with me um, head torch on. Wow. Yep, it's a bit dark in here. Well, I've got to say, do you know what? It costs two pound here, right? And you can park up overnight. You pay by sending a text message. It comes off your mobile or it goes onto your mobile phone bill. This is Egglestone Abbey, and it is absolutely pitch black. Totally pitch black. Good girl. It's spooky as hell. See if we can go. Oh. Oh. Now I'm waiting for a bird to shit in my face. Right guys, we've parked up again. Whilst I'm driving, Dina's on the phone looking to park for night and uh, generally Google Maps and trying to find us some really nice park ups. We're trying to prolong going home as long as possible. But Dina has found us a winner again. The plan was we was gonna drive, stop overnight and then next day go home. So taking us two days basically to get home but we've been on the road now since leaving scotland for near on a week because dina keeps finding us nice park ups and it's not on their map it's not very clear either on park for night um is that where you found it park for night Park for night yeah we should actually keep it secret actually if we did a little gem anyway so that's our park up for the night um Catch you in a bit. part that they not many of them show you is when you have to run back and get the camera oh well fortunately we've got screws but look they, she's gone she's absolutely gone so that's what we've just come through and then i've got to catch her back up to her now hold on she's coming back come on girl come on in. Good girl, you're beautiful, aren't you? Yeah, you're all right as well, I suppose. <laughs> that was great. That was great. That was really good. All right, should we go back? Yeah, go back. We've come to Chewy because yeah. he's in the van, and so we, we've we've not brung Chewy because his heart just won't be able to. Um, <laughs> well, certainly won't be able to keep up with um, Mally anyway. There was a bit of an accident. It would have been great to have filmed it. So Mally darted straight in front of me. I had to brake, so of course it's just, it's gone off to the right. I've gone off to the left, very close to the water. I crashed into Num the nuts here, crashed Num into nuts. the back of me. What am I meant to do? I can't exactly go past you. Yeah, that. but you blame me. That was good. 
fantastic. We've literally just got back, we've opened the door, and the first thing Dean does <laughs> is grabs a glass of wine. Okay. <laughs> I've got to say to anyone, I would stay here for quite a few days. It's lovely, isn't it? It is lovely, it's yeah. But unfortunately, we can't because the no, toilet needs emptying yeah. and uh, water is is low. But tomorrow, we're going to leave here and we're going home. Come on, Ali. Come on. <laughs>